guess who's back? You can always tell when it's a, a video day. It's back to the shaved head. I was almost grown here. Yes, after a break, it is time. And we are looking at properties like this one here. We're on the search for cheap properties here in Spain again. And I'm going to give you the name of this town at the end of the video. So make sure you watch to the end because it's a video. It's a town with lots of little streets just like this. And as always, we start off in the church square. And I've got to say, this reminds me a little bit of my, like Madrid with the little alcoves around the side. When you're in the, the main place in Madrid, you've got bits that you can walk around the edge like this. And then tapas bars round about, little bars all round about. And then the church an epic church at that. As always, it's closed. We've got these trees growing right in front of it, so you can't really see how beautiful the tower is and the bell tower is on this actual church. And it looks like there's someone getting interviewed for the local television. As we speak, he's got a better camera than me. <laughs> Just using my iPhone, mate. Anyway, make sure that you do stay to the end of this video till I tell you the name of this town. And I've got to say, I absolutely love this place already. It's got everything that I want. It's got, it's the real Spain, as I call it. We'll walk up this street here. Just it's got the nice, tight little streets. I love this. This is, this, I probably love it because it reminds me of Ed, the old Edinburgh. And I love little towns like this. Anyway, we are on the search for a property that's in the region around about £30,000. And as always, I use Think Spain website for it. I will try and put a link to the actual property. Oh, there's the church. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful when you see it. It has to be an area where you can get and see it in all its glory. But anyway, yes, we are on the look, we are on the hunt for cheap property in this town. It is a town that is only around the two minute drive to Alicante Airport. That's right, it's only 22 minutes. And look at that fantastic church. It's only a 22 minute drive to Alicante Airport. It ticks all the boxes for me. The fact that you've got the fantastically old church in the middle of the town. Lovely looking buildings. Some cracking looking buildings. And obviously you'll have some buildings that don't look as great. And it's got a bit of history. Got a bit of history. Going back to 1615 to 2015. Now remember, I'm not giving away the name of this town until the very end of the video, but I'm going to take you a walk around and we're going to see what amenities the town does have. Now when I drove into the town, it did have a big industrial area just on the edge of the town. It did have a big industrial area and it had a big brand new Mercadona. Big brand new Mercadona and also a big Dia, which are two of the bigger supermarkets in this area. But... It looks absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful so far. Now, I haven't found exactly the street where the property is that I want to look for. It is a townhouse. And there's lots of little squares. There is lots of little squares in this town. It's a lovely little, well, it's not little, that's the problem. It's not a little village, this one. This is quite big. We've obviously got an air conditioning shop, fans and lots of little streets. But I want to go back around. I want to head around this way. Oh, there's the street names. I would give the name of the town away. Now, I want to head back around to the church because I've got a funny feeling. First property I want to look at. I mean, there are lots of properties around about here that are needing refurbished. There's a lot of properties around about here also that are well over 200,000 euros. But that's not what we're looking for. We are the bargain looking Brits in the sun, as they say. We want to find cheap property. There's a plot. If you want to buy a plot and build your own, but we're looking for a property that is a townhouse. I've been pretty specific with this search for this one property right across from the church. It does need a lot of work doing to it. It's basically needing completely refurbished on the inside. 
and as you can need see a lot of work but I would say that's quite a big property and it does have a commercial unit underneath and it is right next to the church. And there must be some sign of life from our expats in the area because there's a Spanish flag and as always in Spain when you fly a flag from your home country you need to fly a Spain flag either above or next to it. So there you go, British flag. I'm going to look for these properties. I'm going to take you to a nice little green area in the middle of the town, which is nice. And there's a fruit shop. Tomatoes are only 69 and 99 pence a kilo. That's quite cheap. Looks like the, the daily market may, may be on also today. As you can see, King's Cafe. King's Cafe, we'll cross over the road at the crossing. That's nice and safe. We do have this little park area. Which is really nice. Nice little fountain. In the middle of the town. Beautiful. Nice big open space area. After all those little streets that are all close together, we've got a nice area and a fountain. And a play area. The other thing about it as well is it does have these modern looking apartments. So if you are after something a bit more modern, you can get something like that. So the weekly market is on, by the looks of it. Yeah, and it just goes around the, the streets, as it does in a lot of the towns in this area of Spain. The main ones, they basically just go through the towns with the market, which is nice. But it's the same stuff that you get in all the markets and everywhere, so... Um, nothing new to say, as they say. So the one thing about this video today is, what time is it? It is exactly 12.37, there we go, 12.37, so it's not siesta time as yet. And as you can see, there are plenty of people around this place. Sometimes you go to these little towns, it's, this isn't a little town though. Sometimes you go to these places and there's hardly anyone around. But there are plenty of people, plenty of women walking around doing their daily shopping. And a lot of the bars are busy as well. A lot of the bars around about are busy also. Which is really nice to see. Get your plants for three euros. And then we've got a little, oh, this could be the indoor market. If I'm right, this could possibly be the indoor market. Now, I haven't been here before, so let's walk in and see. And yep, it is. It is the indoor market. So you've got a fruit shop when you come in, a couple of fruit places. It's like some of the guys are finished up for the day. And see the prices in here also. The melons, a lot of fruit. Butchers, butchers, butchers. There's a fish place over there. So there's everything that you want. So the town ticks even more boxes for me now. The fact that it's got everything that you want on your doorstep and there's the butchers another butchers and then there's another one and there's bread pastries and cakes so that is the market with a nice little coffee shop just outside the market also so i'm going to cross back over because i've no idea where i am now and there's a santander bank so it does have all the big major banks it has everything you need shopping wise and there's another nice little beer garden back there's a Sabadell bank so there is all the major banks fountains just been switched off this is the main street that I drove up coming into the town so the place that I'm looking for I'm going to have to sit a minute and check out Think Spain website and try and get an idea of where I am in conjunction to where exactly this property is, I want to look at it. Now, it is a townhouse, I was pretty specific. I wanted to find a townhouse that was under 50,000 euros. I found one that is in the region around 34,000 euros, which means it will need a lot of work done. Before I get to the one that I'm looking for, there is an apartment for 50,000 pound around this area. Because as you can see from the, wind, the picture in on Think Spain, it looks right onto here which would suggest that it has to be one of these buildings up here. It is on the main street and it is one that's needing a bit of work done to the apartment 
but it's very, very difficult to try and find out exactly what apartment it is. Because they don't give you the exact location. Which is unfortunate, but it is in this area. So there you go, you can can buy, and this is only a couple of minute walk from the church also. And a nice couple of cafe bars in the area. I found myself coming back round towards the church, which they are doing a refurbishment on. You can see back there. I think I'm going to try and grab a coffee somewhere because I can't find the exact building that I'm looking for. The problem with the Think Spain website is the fact that they don't give away the exact locations. And that's one of the downsides when you're trying to check out an area and ultimately check out a property here in Spain. Another property that isn't listed anywhere. But someone's went to the expense of putting a brand new front door onto the property. Obviously to try and keep squatters etc. That's another one that's in the middle of the town that is needing a lot, lot of work done to it. Now there are very far and few between empty buildings in this town as I am now lost. And there are lots of little streets and um, I think I need to put Google Maps on to find out where exactly I am. Because I have no idea. There is another view of that epic church tower. It is definitely like a rabbit warren in this village. With these little side streets. But um, I'm not exactly sure where they go. But anyway. It's fun to walk about. I think I found the one that I'm looking for. But it's been soaked. And someone's putting in brand new windows up the stairs in the property. As you can see, it, it is getting brand new doors upstairs. So it is getting worked on, which is unfortunate. You see, look for the Savendi signs. And there is a townhouse here that's up for sale privately. I'll just zoom on in on the Sivendi sign. It does probably need a lot of work done to it on the inside, but it is in a fantastic little... There is another house that I have found for sale, a uh, private sale. Always check out the Sivendi signs, I do say that. But this one, it is right outside a bar, the cultural society. But that looks like it's needing everything done inside to it. But it could be a good little investment for some. I haven't managed to find the house at 27,000. That's a fantastic looking house, that one there, isn't it? We have managed to find some other rundown houses, but we can't find any prices for them. So, our search for the exact house hasn't been fruitful. But we found so, whilst other... we didn't find the exact house, you're going to say, finally, tell us where you are. Tell us the name of this town that looks so beautiful. Well, not part of this bit. And it is only 22 minutes from Alicante Airport. And it is Aspen. Yes, Aspen. And if you're looking for it, I'll put a link in the description of this video. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. I have taken a walk up to the other end of the town and I noticed that there's a plain oil garage up here, which is nice to know. This plain oil is one of the cheaper garages. Now I'm going to take a walk down this way because I've got a funny feeling that the property that I'm looking for is down this way. Now the good news is, I think I found the £27,000 property. There. This one here. The the downside. It's just that little slim bit there with the one it's on gone. a main road. So it's basically that bit there going up here. It's tidy. But that's it, I found it. The townhouse was €27,000 in Aspen. 22 minutes from Alicante Airport. Now there is another property that is a bit bigger. Now that one looks a bit better because it has more windows. But that property does look bigger and it does need a lot of work done to it also. So if you are interested, Villas and Houses, Grupo Expansion. 
That looks a bit more decent than that one, but if that one's 27,000, much would this be? But anyway, it's out because it's on a main road and you don't want to be staying on a main road like this. The thing is, don't be put off by having to do up property because if you see these ones here, right, these are, these are quite big houses inside. Okay, they need a lick of paint, they need lots of things done to it, but this is what they could look like. There's one that's been modernised. It's all got new windows on it. It's still got the stickers from the windows being installed. I do like it, but it still has the actual water fountains that work. Actual drinking water fountains. I wonder if it's... I'm not drinking it. <laughs> no chance. But it is drinking water fountains. It's not portable, but it's drinking water fountains. Still in this day and age. Anyway, we did find the property that was worth 27,000 euros in Aspen, 22 minute drive from Alicante Airport. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up and watch out for the next video where I'm going to talk about something that I am not prepared for. And on that note, hasta luego.